Hello friends, this video on triangles part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So this is the criteria called SAS congruency. It says that if the two sides and the angle included, that is side, angle side. So if you say A, B, C, and this is P, Q, R. So here A, B is equal to P, Q side and there is an angle so i can say angle b is equal to angle q there is an angle these two angles are equal and the third side that is bc is equal to qr if that is given so in that case these two triangles are congruent okay two triangles are congruent if two sides two sides and the angle being included by these two sides the corresponding values are equal then these two triangles are congruent. Okay, and please note this is not a theorem; it is an axiom. You, you don't, we don't have any proof for it. This is axiom. With just by drawing, we'll see that if you draw any two, you see this actually. If you just compare these two now, right? So this length and this length is the same. And this length and this length is the same, and this angle is also same. Then these points will also have the same distance, right? And if you just draw these points, you'll see that these two triangles will be same. That's what we did, right? These the dark ones are same, and this dotted line I just created because these distance will also be same. The distance between A and C and P and R will be the same. This is there's no proof for this. Please know there's no proof for this. So it is axiom, it can't be proved. Okay, this is X A S congruency, side angle side. Please note the order is matter order matters. Okay, please note it is side angle side, it is not A S S or S S A. So in these in the, if you talk about S A S, see when I'm saying S A S, I'm saying that one, two, three, side angle. This is SAS. Let's try, we'll say ASS in the two triangle. Okay. We'll take angle, angle, and then side, and then side. We can draw one more same thing, the same values. So this length is same and this length is same. And this slightly median. Angle side side. You can actually draw a triangle. Yeah. You see here these three triangles. Or uh, let's take yeah. these are by A A A S S rule, and you see that they are not congruent. So A S S rule or S S A both are same, right? You say A S S in the clockwise direction, in the anti-clockwise direction is S S A. So both are same actually. Both are same rule. We saw that two triangles we can go in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. The same. So if you see they are not congruent. So please note it is S A S. It is not A S S or S A S A. They are not congruent. Only S A S is congruent. Okay, so the congruent rule we just saw was SSA, SSS. Okay, that was one. AAS. Okay, SAS. So, so this is okay. Okay, we have seen that. Why AS? Because if two angles are equal, the third angle will also be equal, right? We can easily prove that. So if, if the two triangles are such that the angles are equal, and even one of the side is equal, they will be congruent. We'll see that. I'll show you that. And this is what we have just done in SAS. Okay, so we have only four rules actually for congruency. You can just learn this. Okay, 
ASA, SAS. You see, in both this case, it is, uh, it is following the pattern. S, then angle, then side. Angle, side, angle. Okay. Okay. So, let's take some example on SAS congruency. I think with this, your concepts will be a little clear. So, it is given that OA is equal to OB. OA is equal to OB. OD is equal to OC. You see? OD is equal to OC. 2 dash, 2 dash means they are equal. 1 dash, 1 dash, that means they are equal. So, we have to prove that triangle AOD is similar to triangle B. See? see, the moment you get this to prove, just draw two triangles. Okay? AOD start from A, O, B. Same thing BOC start from B, O, C. Please note, the point where I started A and B are same. In both cases, I am going anti-clockwise direction. That is my convention. If you want, you can follow some other convention also. But let's stick to this. Okay, A, O, D, B, O, C. Now they are congruent. We have to prove it. So to prove they are congruent, we have to prove that A, O is equal to B, O. If possible. O, D is equal to O, C. If possible. A, D is equal to B, C. If possible. And these angles also should be equal. Dash, this two dash, and this is three dash. What is given? OA, OB. What is OA? O, this is equal to OB. This is given. OD is equal to OC. This OD is equal to OC. Given. Now if you see this is given, this is given, this is given. Now if you see in this triangle, AOD, AOD, this angle is angle 2, and BOC, BOC, this is angle 2 dash. Now if you see angle 2 is equal to angle 2 dash. Right? Why? Vertically opposite angle? Okay. So now we can say that this angle is also equal. Now we see in these two triangles side, angle, then side. Side, angle, side. By SAS, they are congruent. Let me write once again. So we can just say that in triangle AOD and BOC, Side AO is equal to BO, that is given. Then angle angle 2 is equal to angle 2 dash, or I can mention angle AOD is equal to angle BOC, right? Vertically opposite angle, and then side that is OD. OD is equal to OD, that is also given. Then you can say that therefore triangle AOD is similar to triangle BOC and the rule is by side angle side okay they are similar got it pretty easy see when you say AOD is equal to BOC just draw this triangle it will help you actually and you can just put some names see that these side corresponding these two sides are equal this angle is equal that means this is by side angle side side angle side now they are congruent since they are congruent i can say that angle 1 is equal to angle 1 dash angle 3 is equal to angle 3 dash we can see that right we can see that since aod is similar to boc triangle i can say that angle 1 is equal to angle 1 dash and angle 3 is equal to angle 3 dash so let's see what is angle 1 oad OAD is angle 1, angle 1 dash is OBC, OBC is angle 1 dash. Now you see if angle 1 is equal to angle 1 dash, they are actually alternate angles and they are equal. Therefore, BD has to, AD has to be parallel to BC. AD is parallel to BC since angle 1 is equal to angle 1 dash. And they are alternate angles. Right? We have seen that this is a two parallel line. Okay. So if this angle is equal to this angle, if you see, if you just extend this, I have confusion, just extend these lines, then you will notice that this angle and this angle they are alternate angles. Okay. So we could actually prove that AD is parallel to BC. Right? Because to prove AD is parallel to BC, we have to prove that 
these two angles are equal. They are alternate angles. Or even you can see that three dash is equal to three. That is also fine because they are also actually alternate angles, and that is also true. We have seen that. So we can use any of these to prove that these are parallel lines. Okay. Most important criteria is to prove that the angles triangles are congruent. Draw triangle in this fashion because when I say that AO. OD is congruent to BOC, that means AO should be equal to AO. OD should be equal to OC. And AD should be equal to BC. Okay. Okay, let's take one more example. The question says that AB is the line segment and line L is its perpendicular bisector. So there is a line segment, let's suppose AB. And line L is a perpendicular bisector. That means there is a line L. And it bisects perpendicularly. That means and this side is equal to this side. And if P is a point on line L, there is a P point on this line. So we have to show that P is equidistant from AB. So we have to prove that let's use this point. Okay. So we have to prove that P we have to prove that to prove AP is equal to BP. That is something we have to prove is given this perpendicular bisector okay and let's make this point as o. so now you see there are two triangles okay p o b and p o a and if you see p o will be, and a o is equal to o b given this are this is a common side PO and PO and this angle is also same and thus if you see both triangle has to be congruent this this is just our mental calculation okay so what we can do is first let's draw and if they are congruent we can say that P is equal to PB okay and that is what we have to prove so let's first so we have to prove P is equal to PB right so P is equal to PB we have to prove. So let's take two triangles. And these triangles are PAO and POB. Which order we don't know. So let's do one thing. So we know that P is the point and PO P A is equal to PB we have to prove, right? So let's put A here and let's put B here. This is this A. P A is equal to PB we have to prove. We know that AO is equal to BO. So let's say that. And we can say that AO is equal to BO given. And we also know that POB and POA are equal. POB and POA both are same. And these angles are also equal. Given. Now, thus, just by, see, just by this data, I could actually draw this. See, if you draw this, it is confusing, right? We have to actually draw the triangle which are congruent. So I can say that, but let's try to prove Let's try to do what? That triangle POA is congruent to triangle POB. Right? PO should be equal to PO, OA should be equal to OB, and PA is equal to PB. That is what let's try to prove. So if you see here, PO is equal to PO. Why? Common sign. Or you can say by construction. This angle is equal to this angle. This POA is equal to POB. Angle POA is equal to angle POB. Why put the 90 degree? Right? PO and POB. This is just for calculation, right? We did not have same angle. And then OA is equal to OAB. Why? It is given perpendicular bisector. So with this, we can say that triangle POA is congruent to triangle POB. Why? SAS side angle side side angle side since they are congruent 
पी एज गल टू पी वी देर फॉर पी एज गल टू पी वी एंड दैट इज वॉट आई हैड टू टू पी एज गल टू पी वी कैन से ए पी और बी पी इज वॉन सेम लाइट से ए पी और आई कैन से ए पी इज गल टू पी वी बोथ आर सेम जस्ट पी पी गेट पी एज गल टू ए पी एंड पी वी इज गल टू पी वी बोथ आर सेम सो डोंट गेट कन्फ्यूज बोथ आर सेम pretty easy you just have to find two congruent triangles first and then you have to orient that write two triangles in such a way that they are similar so if you write the same question in this form let's suppose you can read triangle poa and here you create pob like this you see this is poa and this is pob but you will not get the answer you will end up in confusion so you have to first draw these two triangles in the proper way and that's what we did right so we just started with p point and we knew that P B P A is equal to P B. So since we drew A here, we drew B here, and then we know that O A is equal to O B. We drew O here. We also drew O here. So that way we could actually. And th these needs practice. The more you practice, the easier you will you will be able to draw two congruent triangles for a given question. Okay. So I expect you guys to pause the video and try solving this question again, and then proceed to the next slides. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials, and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot.